Hi, it's Matt. Today I'm featuring this LVT4 alligator, also known as an amphibious tractor. It was also called a water buffalo by the British and was known by a few other names too, including Steve. Not really, I just made that up. It was key to the success of the Bloody Island Hopping Campaign in the Pacific during World War II. LVT stands for Landing Vehicle Tracked. The LVT-4 was part of a series of amphibious vehicles that were initially developed to rescue civilians from Florida swamps. Oh, help me! The LVT-4 carried around 25 to 30 men, or a jeep, or a couple of pack howitzers, and were typically armed with two to four 30 to 50 caliber machine guns. This model is not quite the scale. It's actually a little squatty, but you get the idea. Here is a model scale reference to the Tiger I tank I made recently. I'm going to put a link in the description below so you can see that Tiger build. Anyway, this is just for comparison purposes. Getting back to the alligator, I made it so you could fit a little Lego Jeep in it, as you saw in the opening sequence. As with most of my models, to show you how I put it together, I'll take it apart. So let's get started. I'll pull the upper structure out of the way, and you can see the levers in there used to steer it, which the real Antrax did use. Here's a look at the upper structure of the LVT-4, and you can see I used Lego Man walkie-talkies, and they work quite well for the scale to serve as machine guns. Here's a couple of different choices for the back ramp. I pulled off the front of the hull, Here's what that looks like, and I put in a control panel, even though it's not accurate to the World War II era. And here's a little secret up front. These little prism-shaped pieces are actually just held in by gravity. See? Now I'm going to remove the side skirting, and you can see what's going on behind there. And this is what's going on behind the skirt itself. The bottom front of the hull is hinged, so we drop that down. We'll pull the two sponsons off, and this is what the base of the hull looks like. And there's the very bottom. Now we're going to take a look at one of the sponsons, and here is the real secret. If you notice, this vehicle is actually built upside down. The deeper secret is these little parts that allow you to flip-flop the orientation of the bricks. And you get one guess as to which kit I got these off of. Again, oh, really? are you serious? Oh, again. I used that same part here too to hold the little steering levers to the floor. Here's a bonus: the little Jeep you saw in the intro sequence. It's really pretty basic. I'm actually using some old '80s space set parts. If you want to see a real one of these alligators. No, not that kind of gator. There's a really nice one in Dunedin, Florida, which is where the alligator was initially developed by the inventor Donald Roebling. Well, looks like this poor alligator is going to be made into boots. But hey, I appreciate you watching and sharing and liking, and be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks a lot, y'all. Bye. Mats. Custom creations. Mats. Custom creations. Watch your mom build, watch your mom build Play no for you